Hey, so today we'll be covering medical insurance. Um, there's so many aspects about medical insurance we need to understand before we sign up. This is Money Wise with Rena Hicks, where we create, grow, and preserve wealth. So we continue with medical insurance. I have a question for Alex um, that I just absolutely need him to answer because this one, I, I don't know. And so Alex, if you could come and answer this question for me. I have a friend whose parents are over 85 mm -hmm. and they have been struggling with finding an insurance company that will cover them for insurance, for medical insurance in particular. Mm -hmm. So I want to understand something. Is there a certain cutoff date with insurance? I mean, the way I see it is if I'm 85 or 80 or 90, that's really when I need insurance, particularly medical insurance, because I mean, illness is guaranteed, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but they're struggling finding an, an, a medical cover that will be able to cover them. So maybe you can just help us understand, is it that there's a cutoff date where medical insurance is concerned? Mm -hmm. How does it work? Ah, thank you. And uh, first, I like the word, the word you used, that illness is guaranteed, okay? Let me then break down insurance. Okay. Insurance works to cover unknown risks, okay? They're mm -hmm. in the business of covering unknown risks. They pull people together. Mm -hmm. Some could get sick, some may not get sick. And then they use the funds from those who don't get sick to those people who then get sick without us having known. So it's a pooling of people together to cover those who may get sick in you know unknown. Okay. So insurance covers unknown risks. When you get to an age like 85, your risk is known. Okay? <laughs> You're going to be a definite consumer of the resources that have been put together. Now, people who are a hundred are covered by insurance. Oh, are they? Yes. Okay. But there's a condition mm -hmm. that you entered the insurance policy framework when you are younger. Okay. So we have two things. You have a history. We have your medical history. Okay. And your history is known. Therefore, allowing us to make the necessary exclusions which reduce the risk to the insurer and therefore you're not consuming the total resource that you remove other people from being covered. Let me explain that. For example, if you're hospitalized today um, in one of the top hospitals here, an emergency of any sort, you can tell me that, uh, you know, just to be admitted there when they, if you don't have a card, they require you to deposit 300,000 or 200,000 and you know how much it costs every day you're there. Mm -hmm. Now when you're above you know, a certain age, you're in hospital more frequently, which means you're running a bill of a million, two million every time you're in hospital. And if you are a business, you've got to ask yourself, what business are you in if all the premiums that came in okay. went out? So we have to manage that portfolio. And those who actually we know will definitely take away the resources that would have been used for a few other people, you kind of find it hard to have them in your portfolio. It's not a good thing, but you also have to make a business decision. So, so okay, I, I, get, I get it from the perspective of the insurance company, but here I am, I have been paying my premiums, mm -hmm. you know, 30, 35, 40, 55, I'm now 80. Mm -hmm. And so now I'm at the point of need where I actually need this cover. So is it that if I start at that age or early, that as I continue to grow older, the insurance cover shall continue? Or is there a situation where at one point the insurance will let me know that unfortunately we will not be able to cover you any longer? Now I like that. You've even answered the question. What happens if you've been in the insurance company's framework? Yes. We know you from 30 we will continue with you. There's no issue about that. The challenge is when you're 70, 80, you then realize your bills are very high and you want to pass that responsibility to somebody else. So if you've been in the insurance company
company's framework. You have been covered since you were 20, 30, even up to 110, you will be covered. But if you walk in at 85, now we don't have your medical history. We don't, because you know people are in the habit of not disclosing what's the issue. Yeah. And even when you go and get a medical cover, you should be honest enough to say, listen, I'm 85, I have had these medical conditions, I have had, uh, you know, some heart transplant, kidney transplant, or other issues, mm -hmm. but people don't disclose. And at that time, it's so critical and emotive that the insurance company, being who they are, tend to feel they need to cover that just because of reputational issues. But the cost is so high and you did not have the person's history. But if I had your history, you would tell me, listen, I'm seeing I'm growing older and some of the issues are making my policy more expensive. But to keep on in the cover, instead of having uh, issues like diabetes, which, you know, um, becomes a very frequent issue and uh, illness when you get older, you could tell me either diabetes is excluded from this policy yes. and therefore I continue because diabetes is now known as a risk. So we are not mitigating, it's already there. Yeah. But to continue because I could get hit by a car. So I would like some insurance there. So the insurance company has to have that history. And they feel most times when people show up at 80s, 70s, they don't disclose because their family wants everything to be covered. Okay. So this is where the challenge is. Okay. Yeah. So the key here is to have history. So as soon as you can begin, sign up for that insurance policy. I still have questions on this medical insurance and I think we need to delve a little deeper into it. So I want us to spend a little more time and our next show is going to continue looking at this medical cover and what do we need to ensure that we look at and consider as we make our choices. This is Moneywise with Rena Hicks where we create, grow and preserve wealth.